Hello, buddy. This is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. If you're on Facebook mobile, go ahead and turn this up so you can hear it because I got some extremely exciting and valuable information to share with you. So again, for each and every one of you that took the time to get on this short video, thank you very much for your time. And I want to share with you the most valuable, valuable lessons that I learned from my mentors and also coaches. And the first one is Roger Penske. Now, Roger Penske is a multi, multi billionaire, but more than that, in the uh, racing industry, he's known as the captain. You know what I mean? And one of the unique things is, is he's helped uh, 10 different drivers win 15, 15 Indianapolis 500s. Now, the guy's not only an incredible, incredible, uh, um, successful individual, but teaching people how to be successful is amazing. So here I am hanging out in Williston, North Dakota, uh, Billings, Montana. And then all of a sudden what I did is I decided to take a step up and, and go out to California and work with Roger Penske. And the first thing that I did when I got in a meeting with me, with him, I apologize, in a group, he turned around and said, Bobby, I was Bobby the auto mechanic, and he said, Bobby, how do you know that? I was like, what? He goes, how do you know that? And it's, it, it caught me off guard, and I talk about in my other trainings, the lecture that he not only gave me, but gave the rest of the people in that meeting at that time. And that's when I learned the question, listen to me closely, question every single thing I ever heard or anything that I ever learned. And here's one thing that I gotta get to you, man, you gotta get this, is that majority of the people on the planet, majority of the people on the planet, I'm talking like 99% of the people on the planet are not happy. They are not happy. They are not fulfilled. They are not connected. There's so many things that they're not, right? And one of the things that's re uh, crazy about that is they're, you know, they're not where they want to be financially. They're not giving, you know, what they want to charity. And what we do is we normally, majority of the people are constantly just doing what they heard from somebody else, not questioning it at all. So part of this thing is the whole concept is you got to learn to think. Now, a lot of you are going to listen to that and go, I already know how to think. <laughs> well, then my next question for you is how is that working for you? That be that became the title of my number one Amazon selling book. And if you reach out to me, I'll make sure you get a free copy. And one of the things is is just understand that you know what we think about ourselves, our self confidence, our self worth, whether or not we believe that we can do something. And so, you know, Jim Rowan has said it best, is that majority of things, 80% is psychology. If we don't think we can do it, if we don't believe that we can do it, if we don't think it's worth our time, if we have all these limiting beliefs, then guess what? We're not gonna go anywhere. So one of the things is I'm gonna really, really stress this first point as what was you thinking? <laughs> Or maybe, what was you thinking or what are you thinking, okay? So that, that's the first valuable, valuable lesson. And I'm gonna cover these in detail. I'm gonna go through with this. This is not a sales pitch. This is not a sales video. You can find a way around this video to actually get on a free webinar, a free webinar that I'm doing. And I'm gonna be on there and I'm gonna cover these uh, very valuable. You know, someone asked me, what are the best ones, the best three that you have? And, and that's what I immediately thought. I went, you know what? I'm going to do a webinar about this because it's just so darn important. It was the things that changed me forever. You know what I mean? So the limiting beliefs having to do with who I was or whether or not I could do this or whether or not I was smart enough or whether or not I was a people person. Do you realize that still today, still today, um, the personal coach for uh, Tony Robbins, um, uh, Rob Deerdick, 
uh, Larry King is a guy named George Pratt, Dr. George Pratt. And I still do sessions with him today because I keep finding new and new, new and new, more limitations of, listen, okay, I understand that I'm worth two and a half million a year, but am I worth 10 million a year? Do I believe that I can do it? And see, I keep working with coaches and stuff to be able to help me with that, high performance coaches, all right? The second one that's very, very, very important is this whole entire concept of that, you know, we just, we, we constantly are in a scenario where we're always turning around and we're saying, well, listen, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? And one of the things that a lot of people don't like hearing this one is my mentor said, you know, my second billionaire mentor, uh, uh, Bill Gould, uh, he turned around and said, listen, Robert, you got to capitalize on trends. You got to capitalize on trends. And I'm like, what do you mean? He said, Robert, you don't have to be smart. You don't have to be intelligent. If you get involved in a trend, it's like a freight train moving 80 miles an hour west. You just step in front of it and bingo, you go. Now, in all the years I've been involved in marketing, which is very simply taking products and services from people that make them, invent them, innovate them, and I'm gonna cover this more uh, in detail, that's why Amazon is now bigger than Walmart. That's why Amazon is bigger than Walmart. They're using this thing called the internet when there's a lot of companies out there right now in direct sales that forbid forbid people from using the internet. Now, I used to make money, a lot of money, millions of dollars of selling pagers and long distance. It no longer exists. And so if you look at the best companies out there, they're always changing and adapting. They're always, always capitalizing on trends. And you got to learn to capitalize on those trends. And I'm going to cover that in depth also in the webinar. The very last one is it's amazing to me the number of people out there that are struggling, struggling in, in marketing, and they're learning from people that are struggling too. <laughs> It's like the blind following the blind. So my mentor told me, and this has helped me in everything, is you gotta find a coach. You gotta find a coach that's not only willing, listen closely, willing to show you their documentation. In fact, you said, listen, you know what? I, you know, I, I, if you, I, well, let me cover it this. You know, you learn to drive from someone that drove, right? You learn to walk and talk from people that walk and talk. Now you're involved in marketing and there's this stigma out there. If you wanted to be a professional coach, you know what? You look at Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson has won 11, 11 world championships. Two as a player, you know what I mean? And nine is a coach. You know, we taught people like Michael Jordan and Scotty Pittman and Dennis Rodman and Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. <laughs> you know what I mean? You think about someone like that, they call him the Zen coach. And by the way, just to throw this in there, uh, Phil Jackson graduated from the same high school as I did, Williston, North Dakota. And so one of the key things is you got to find a documented coach that's not only willing to show you their documentation, but listen to this one, because this one's very important, very important. You got to find a person that has people that are giving them recognition and praise for helping them. I know you probably have heard of a guy named Tony Robbins, worth over $500 million. When people ask him, when people ask him, hey, listen, what's the key to success? The very first thing that came out of his mouth is I learned from an incredible coach named Jim Rowan. Jim Rowan, R-O-H-N. For those of you that like some free stuff, you know, uh, uh, reach out to me. So, you know, you gotta understand that successful people have no problem, no problem telling you who their coaches were and who their coaches' coaches were. So mine not only was Bill Gould, and Bill Gould was taught by Larry Huff and Larry Thompson. Uh, Larry Huff just recently passed uh, a little less than a year ago. I'm uh, really sad, and Larry Thompson. But Larry Thompson learned from Jim Rowan, and Jim Rowan learned from Errol Schulf. And you got to take the time, take the time to really seriously 
seriously seek out coaching from whatever you want to do. If you wanted to learn to be a good dancer, wouldn't you be smart enough? And it's funny, we sometimes we'll do stuff for our children, but we won't do it for ourselves, right? So if someone's going to teach my kids how to be martial artists, I found the best. His name is Steve Lopez, and Steve Lopez won two gold medals in Taekwondo for the United States in the Olympics. So that's the guy that I got the videos, the audios, even got him to come to Billings, Montana, Montana, you know what I mean? To carry the torch. My sons won gold medals at the Big Sky State Games and also qualified for the Junior Olympics. So you do that stuff for your children. Why won't you do that for you? Why won't you do that for you? So again, you know, I want to cover some incredible things in a webinar. Somewhere around this video, there's a link probably above it or below it where you can go and register for this webinar and I'm going to pour my heart out to you to show you some very key things and fundamentals that you need to be doing to turn your life around right now immediately. Not only your business, but turn your life around. So I hope this information helped you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the webinar. And don't ever forget, if I can do it, you can do it. If I can teach others to do it, I can teach you how to do it. Take care and God bless.